So for a short little while, I've been keeping my eye out for a perfect little project that can only be fixed with 3D printing and that I can also show CAD Sketcher off with it. And that's exactly what this is here. So this lovely little toolbox I got for only three pounds at my local recycling center. The only caveat is that there is no latch to it. So the actual locking latch, it's gone. I can technically just lock it, but that's not exactly useful. So we're gonna use some precision modeling, some CAD Sketcher all inside the blender to create exactly that. But this video is not about me going step by step, showing you the whole sketch and all of that. No, this is very much my philosophy and workflow flow of precision modeling within Blender. So it's gonna show you how I go about doing iterative design within Blender. Also how I go about sort of not constraining everything. I believe that CAD-like design in Blender is sort of has an artistic approach to it. By all means, you can go and constrain everything all the way if you want, but sometimes it's just nice to stay creative. So let's go do exactly that. And also a small portion of this video is sponsored by PCBWay. So here we are in Blender and this was literally my workflow. I had one design that I tried to create, then there was an iterative change, a very small one, and then I got to the final design itself. But how about that sketch? Because honestly, that's probably what you're wanting to look at. So here's the sketch. I'll take a look from the top down and we'll take a look at it. The first thing that I wanna point out here is what I did was this. I got the box and I got some measurements. You need to create yourself some construction lines to create something that's gonna fit accurately. So I got some measurements of this little part right here along with the distance of that, along with the little distance of the diameter of the locking latch part and that's what all these construction lines are here so i've got one construction line up here that is the top locking latch then i've got the bottom one all the way down here now i had no idea what the depth of that angle was so i just sort of winged it and went for two millimeters and you know what it worked out pretty well now the key thing here of this design is that this is rounded as an arc because if it wasn't and it was just straight, there would be not enough given the PLA naturally. So it would just sort of snap with time. So giving it that arc is what really nailed it for me. So first time around, I got this design right here. Now overall, it did work out. If you take a look here, it does fit and it does work. That's what this lovely little 3D printed pieces right here. And it did work, but it was just falling off right away. I really had to fix up that top hook. So to fix up that top hook, I dived back into Blender and I added more constraints. You'll see that right this minute, my degrees of freedom is still eight. That's because I've still kept this artistic and I'll show you how in just a moment. But the extra degrees of freedom that I've removed were all these here. This lovely degree here, this lets me actually control how tight it's going to actually pinch on that top latch bit. I found that 55 was the one that worked perfectly for me. So just gonna whack that back to 55. And then I added another one over here, which just let me control the entire arc just a little bit more precisely. So just setting that back to 10. And now here you'll see all the way down here, I did the same thing. I just made this to only be five this time because that way I'm able to control just how much of a click in there is at the bottom. And then all these left degrees of freedom, that is the handle. Like the handle is completely free form um, until I just moved this around till I found something that I liked the look of. I could move this around. I could move this one around. I could do whatever I really wanted to. As long as I had a reference, which was this here, I knew that that was going to be two millimeters in diameter, one millimeter in radius. Then I knew what I was playing around with. So just gonna undo those changes that I did there. And then from there, I basically just went and set this to a nice 50 took that sketch out and did my second iterative design. Now the second time I designed it up, you'll see here, this fits on just perfectly. It's a nice sort of tight fit. It's loose enough that it just goes back and forth and it clicks into the place really nicely. So now that I knew that that fitted just perfectly, it was time to get this final design out of the way. So let's go and do that. So I'm just gonna unhide everything with an Alt-H here because I wanted to show you that it was the final one. This is how I got to the end. 
all I did here was get one final measurement, which was, lo and behold, just that nice little bit right here, just a little bit of plastic that was there. And I just created a simple little bool cutting object. That's literally just a cube. I select one, select the other one, do a control numpad minus, and that did that lovely cutaway. Remember that if you don't have the bool tool, it's a free add-on, comes with Blender, go to edit, then preferences, and there you'll find in the add-ons bool tool, install that in, it's really worth it. So now that we had that there, let's get that printed and see how it goes. And also just a very quick message from today's sponsor. PCB Way is all about empowering makers with their top tier budget friendly services. They're not just masters of PCBs, but also CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, injection molding, and a gamut of 3D printing techniques. To see PCB's Way's potential for your project, click the link down in the description. And a big thank you to PCB Way for sponsoring this video. Now I can't be happier with this end result. Honestly, it looks so professionally well done and it just fits perfectly into place. It's a nice solid fit on. And then I just click it in and that is on for good. I feel like this is gonna hold perfectly. It matches just great. It's got a nice click out as well and it works just, oh, I'm just so happy with this end result. It worked beautifully. A massive thank you, by the way, to my patrons. Truly, without you guys, I wouldn't be able to do Maker Tales. It truly means the world to me. So if you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, I would love to see you there too. Remember that we also have a Discord that's linked down in the description. And if you wanna sort of just get a crash course with Blender and CAD Sketcher, I have them both down in the description. There is also my free course here on YouTube, but you don't actually make anything while you're learning those. All right, thank you for watching so much. Keep making and let the quest continue.